Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. The topic of this video is how to get obedience from a woman. So before we get started, if you're new here, hit that subscription button. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification button. So you will be notified whenever I make new videos. So back to the topic at hand. How to get obedience from a woman. So this is very important because obviously your relationship can be ruined or be great if you have obedience from your woman. You know, it's very important uh, to establish that in the beginning because that will determine the rest of your relationship and how it goes. Of course, you can, you know, establish that in the middle, but you will have to go through a little bit of drama and you have to be willing to let her go. You know, and again, we could talk about where we are here in relationships here in America. You know, about 60% of relationships, marriages in a divorce. A lot of that is because of you know, feminism and the feminization of men, you know, and a lot of that is because of lack of obedience from women with their husbands and men marrying women, um, for the wrong reasons. Let's just say that, you know, but, uh, we shall continue and move forward. And obviously with these tips, I help you be able to vet women more properly and be able to get obedience from women so you have a happier relationship. So first and foremost, the woman has to be willing to obey you. Obviously, if she's not willing to obey you, you got to let her go. Simple as that. There's other fish in the sea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't stick with a woman because she looks good and it's the hottest woman you've ever gotten. If she's not willing to obey you, let her go. Easy, simple, and um, just save you some time and heartache and stress. Make your life easy. You know what I mean? It's like, as Corey Wayne likes to say, a drama-free zone. You know what I mean? So make your life drama-free. Second, you have to always remember to lead her. You know, so... Don't be trying to, you know, let her uh, lead your relationship and, you know, uh, follow her lead again because of her beauty or because of her complaining. You have to always remember, woman follows your lead. You want a happy relationship? Woman follows your lead. You know what I mean? So that way, um, she is open to um, what you want. Because in order for her to obey you, you have to lead her. It's crucial. You know? And that's a lot of the problem we have in society when it comes to marriages here in America. Because men have bought into the feminism. And of course, men have been feminized. So they believe a woman can lead. But it's just, in my experience, it's never gone well. I've never seen a successful, happy relationship where a woman leads and I don't think I ever will. It's just it's just not in the not in the cards. Not how it's designed biologically. But of course you have to find well skipped one. You have to teach a woman how to treat you. Teach you your likes and dislikes you um, tell her when you want her to do things, when you don't want her to do things. You teach her how to be your ideal woman, essentially. And of course, she has free will. If she's not down for it, she could always go. She is not a slave. She's not being held against her will. You know, um, you're not forcing it on her. 
You just let her know what you like. And if she, again, if she's not willing to do it, she has all the freedom and time to leave. Or you just move on. Either one. But of course, you have to find ways for her to bring value into your life besides just sex. Again, with the feminism and the feminization of men, a lot of men find getting sex from an attractive woman as the pinnacle of all she has to do, outside of, of course, looking good. So that is the most value that she has to bring, just looking good and giving you sex. But you have to find ways for her to add value into your life besides just sex. Whether it's in your business, whether it's peace of mind, you like being around her, talking to her, you know, she's intelligent, you can have good conversations, you know, she helps out around the house, you know, or even if she has her own business and she's adding to the finances, you know, it's like she has to add more value than just sex and having a pretty face. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And of course, um, you have to have to bring value into her life. You know what I mean? Whether it's sexually, financially, you know, mentally, um, emotionally, comically. You know, you have to be that guy who she enjoys being around. Maybe you, you stimulate her mind. You get her to see life in a different way. You teach her things she never knew. Um, obviously, maybe financially, you know, you're obviously taking care of her if she's your wife or, you know, long-term girlfriend. Um, you please her sexually. You just have to bring value in her life where she doesn't want to go. You know what I mean? And she's willing to do what she has to do to keep you around, which is to obey you. You know, so pretty simple concept there. Um, but obviously it takes work. You got to build yourself up. You know, we strong men over here. So now we, 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 we work for what we get. You know what I mean? And people appreciate that. You know, so they stick around. Um, of course, uh, last but not least, she has to see value in, or see value in you or see you as irreplaceable. Again, she has to have all these different things she's getting from you. And of course, she's doing for you as well. Where she sees you as rare. She feels like she will never be able to find another man like you. You know what I mean? You have to be that, I guess for lack of a super, you know, lack of a better term to say Superman, select, alpha, you know, strong man, confident man that she does not see often or she has never seen. You know, she has to value you that much again, that she's willing to do whatever it takes to keep you around because of everything you bring for her and who you are. You know, and I mean, it's all very simple. Again, it's just it's going to take work. It's going to take effort. You have to be willing to become that man. You know, so, and again, we strong men over here, so we work for what we got, and we do what we got to do to be who we want to be, you know what I mean, so, ah, uh, yeah, 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 and that's all when it comes to those tips, um, of course, um, again, we want to make our lives easy, so we find people in our lives who make our lives easy but also add value, you know, to our lives. So it's very important to always keep that in mind. <clears throat> but again, that's all I got for you guys. Ah, if you enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. You know, I definitely appreciate it. Um, also, let me know what other videos you want me to talk about or other topics you want me to talk about. 
You know, again, this this channel is not just for me. It's for you guys, more importantly, because I want to help you guys, not only just men, but women be well-rounded people in all aspects of your life. You know what I mean? Right now, yeah, we talk about mainly dating. We get into the health, the wealth, all that other stuff as well. You know what I mean? So let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Because, again, this channel's for you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, last but not least, if you find value in this video or this channel, and you want to support me, you know, I appreciate donations. Nothing wrong. I mean, as much as or as little as you want to donate for the value that you feel you received. You know, so I appreciate it. Um, and until next week, y'all stay safe. I'll see y'all then. Yeah, Pete.